And Saturnalia also represents Yule. Yule is the evil, the evil one. He's the goat. He's the goat. And you look at goat in symbolism and in religious uh, uh, literature and uh, black magic uh, literature. But not only that, in this literature right here that I'm talking about, which is Roman literature. Okay, because we're living in the Republic, okay? And that was a goat. And we know that the goat is associated with the pan. He was a pedophile. That's right. The god Pan was a pedophile. I mean, that's like even when you say uh, the word Pangea, like whole of the continent. I mean, you see where you get this stuff from? Do you see what, how you can get that? Pan, Pan, P-A-N. This guy even uh, raped little boys. You understand what I'm saying? Raped little boys and uh, turning them out. Um, raping uh, Aphrodite, the god Aphrodite, whom April is named after. Saturn. Saturn is the biggest day and he's the biggest god because he's Pan. Real talk. He's a whole different type of energy. He's a whole different type of energy. I've even heard some people talk about how um, some of these stars are related or get tuned in with this energetic force called Pan. I'm just saying. And if you think that, that I'm lying, just look up what they get down with. They get down with the Baphomet. The Baphomet is what? He represents the goat. He represents the goat. He represents the goat. The evil one with all type of sinister sh shit. Yeah. I mean, I heard even Rihanna say she worshiped the devil around here, 666 all day. And who represents 666 as well? That goes back to the message that I dropped the other day, which was about L. Ron Hubbard and Alistair Crawley and the Nation of Islam. <laughs> like straight up. It's insane, yo. It's insane. So now uh, we're going to move on from the God Pan. But Pan is so heavy. Pan is so heavy. Do some research on that. You know, I'm just throwing something out here. I'm just having a thought within my head. You know what I'm saying? I've been thinking about this stuff. Sorry. Got twisted up. Like with January. <clears throat> like with January now. January uh, represent this roman deity by the name of janice and janice um had the ability to he was the, like the father of time just like uh odin just like cronus cronus was zeus dad but we don't want to get off into that right now that's a whole nother entity well all of these we'll get off into that later um uh, but yeah uh janice is January okay and he was a Roman deity that represented a time of present past and present you know it was like a, a doorway from exiting one year moving on into another year okay and speaking of this um calendar um of 12 months that i that i'm about to explain the romans under julius caesar originally had 10 months versus 12 months like they had eight days of the week versus seven days of the week and those eight days of the week i gave them to you and even i um uh spelled them out for you so hopefully that's something that you can um, look up and evolve from. Uh, now we're moving on to January, back to January. Uh, these days, I mean, the months of the year, Janus, would, like I said, which represents, you know, uh, past and present and moving from one year ending and bringing into another. OK, and actually this Janus is like a two headed man. He's like. You know, if you have the mirror effect, if you're a camera, camera video effect dude like I am, 
you know, you have the mirror effect when you have the head going one way and a head going another way. Okay. But this also seeing that the Romans had no, no, uh, no philosophy, no school of thought. They, 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 they got all of this from us. Okay. But that's a whole nother story. I want to stay on this. Um, and, and they actually got this Janus piece, you know, the way they made their God deity's head. Um, some even say that it actually is uh, that to the liking of the African flag with the two lions. And if you really put them together, uh, you can see that there is a great similarity. You can see that there is a great similarity and by them uh, receiving their knowledge from um, the elders and the master teachers that was in Kemet, which were black people, okay? So if they got their knowledge and wisdom from black people, it is, it is safe to say that they took some of that which they got from us and, and evolved it to their own thing. They added some of what we taught them and they added some of what they made for themselves, okay? And that's how you got January. February, <clears throat> February, um, which is uh, the Roman god of uh, uh, February. For Brewer, for Brewer. Now, also, for Brewer is also known as Pluto, the god of the dead, also known as Hades. Okay. And it was during this month that they actually called the month of purification the god of the dead. And um, Halloween is somewhat associated with this day but we'll get to that in a minute and this month february like i say wasn't even considered a month because it was the month of the dead you know and that's when they went through purification sacrifices that they were making to their god so forth happy so now we're going to take you to march now march represents Mars and really under the uh, Julian calendar, um, March would be actually the first month. Okay, and March represent Mars, and Mars uh, was a god of war, and Mars was also the father of Romulus and Remus. But he was also in love with Europa, but he had children by Rhea, Shiv, Rhea Shiva. And and that's how you got Romulus and Remus and Remus killed. I mean, Romulus killed Remus and that's how you got Rome. Because no, Rome's named after Romulus. Anyway, right. But Mars, <clears throat> he's also the god of war. Uh, April. April is Aphrodite. Aphrodite is the goddess of beauty and uh, good lookingness, fairness, you know, she's the god of beauty, Aphrodite. And you have May, which is Maya. Maya, what, what did Maya do? What did Maya do? Maya, 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 Maya. I'll come back to Maya, May. June is Juno. June is Juno, which is the, uh, the goddess of uh, the goddess Hera. She's the goddess of marriage. And um, she is known for nurturing and a matron. Okay, that's Juno, AKA Hera. And Hera was the wife of Zeus, okay? Uh, 